Hey guys! Today we are going to be looking at different photos of different craft booths and I found these pictures online through a Facebook group that I'm part of. The people there said that I could use their photos to show you some examples of different craft booths in different niches. So since I only sell jewelry and crochet items, I thought it would be nice to show you some examples of different booths that you can look to to inspire you to get really creative with your own booth and really make it look as nice and professional as possible. So let's check out what these makers have created and get some ideas. First one here, um, she sells painted mason jars and vases it all has a really cute fairy theme and she's stuck with that theme with her little bunting banner in the front and the tablecloth. I like that the tablecloth goes all the way to the floor so you can hide anything that you might not want people to see. She's got a price list there, two of them, one in the bottom right hand corner and one in the top left. And that will show all the different prices. I like to put my prices on all the individual items. I can't tell if she's done that here, but that's also really helpful. She's got some crates there that she's using for the shelving unit. That's super helpful um, because you can use the crates to help transport in all of your merchandise, and then you can also use it for part of your display. This next one here is Ivy Moon Body Care, and she sells soaps and lotions, different bath bombs, shower gels. I really like her booth um, because it has a really nice like U shape with all of the tablecloths. She has a um, stand up chalkboard sign that looks like it could be easily folded. The curtains look really great hung up there in the corners. She's got the shelving unit in the left hand side. That um, looks like it might be kind of difficult to transport um, unless you have like a truck or a minivan. I only have my little Mazda hatchback so I try to be really mindful about my displays to make sure that I can actually fit everything and it's gonna be easy for me to set up because I do it always by myself. Here's another view for the same seller. She's got a little bit of a different setup here. In the front you see she's got um, on the left another shelving unit that's painted blue. I think that looks great. And you can see in the background there she has her Ivy Moon Body Care sign. And it looks really professional. On the right there there's some bowls with a big jug of water and paper towels. This can be used so that people can try out your items. If you sell things like soap or body wash, they can try them out in the water bowls and make sure that they like the scent and that it feels good on their body. So that's a really um, great tip if you sell body care items. This next one here is a nice holiday booth. I like that they've put the tablecloth there on the bottom with the snowflakes that kind of helps you get into the holiday spirit. And they've hung wreaths up in the background. They are suspended, I'm not sure if it's from a pole or whatever, but that looks really good. It helps make use of the space if you can use all the vertical space. They've got some shelving units there that are tiered, which helps to add some space as well. This next one is Lily and Ted Designs. What I like about it is in the background there you can see they've got like a metal grid that they've hung the art from and the vinyl sign. In the front she's got uh, the art displayed. I'm not sure it looks like a plate rack but you could also use a kind of like dish rack if you're using um, items like that. The earrings are placed in the wooden slats at front so you can see them all and they're all 3D standing up. 
The other thing I like about this one is that the tablecloths, um, it looks like it could be some kind of like sheet or a big piece of fabric. So if you don't have a tablecloth that's going to cover all the sides, you can easily just use a really big sheet or blanket as long as it's nice and clean and really good looking. Um, I think that works well as well. This next one is Knit to Felt. And what I like about this one is that the color um, really stands out. So it's a nice bright teal. She's got the shelving units on all the sides. Now I don't know if these collapse, um, but I think it might be kind of hard to transport these unless, like I said, you've got a big vehicle that you can carry everything. But what I like about it is she's got the grass runners going down the table and I think that looks really great. It goes with the theme of the animals and the farmyard. She's got, you know, goats and pigs, and I think that looks really good with the grass there. This next one here is Stitched Up. She sells sewn items, handbags and pillows and little uh, pouches. What I like about this one is that she made really good use of the space in front of the table. So you can see there on the right hand side down at the bottom, she's got the bags hooked up to the side of the table so that they're hanging right in front for everybody to see. She's got the shelving unit sort of there in the middle, that white, um, white shelf with her items on it. There's also on the left there, basket used for height and another one of those letter board signs that you can put in your own text and switch it around really easily, which is cool. In the background, you can see there's some crates used to add height. And the tablecloth is nice because it hangs down in front and you can put all of your stuff you don't want to see underneath the tablecloth. This next one here is a really good example of how to display art. What I like about it is they've got that really cool looking purple ladder. It looks like a vintage ladder that they just painted. They put the art stacked on it and hung from it so it's a nice shelving unit and because it's a ladder it can just be folded up and put in the back of your car so that's really handy too. This next display has mugs and she's got signs and a couple wreaths. This one I like because she used the crates to use, you could use them like I said, to transport and then you've also got them for height there to add extra things on. She has signs on each of them and it says that she accepts credit cards and another one of those signs that you put in your little message, uh, buy three, get a custom, I can't see what that says. but. It's a good way to um, advertise what kind of deals you have. She also uses, makes use of the space in front of the table so you can just prop up your artwork or paintings and bigger items that you can't really fit on the table, you can just um, put in front of the table. This next seller makes wooden signs. And what I like about this one, or I think is interesting, is that they actually put an area rug down right in the middle of all the tables. Now, I'm not sure if this is something I would do only because I do a lot of outdoor festivals and they have, um, it's on grassy areas a lot of the time and it might be muddy, especially where we live here in Washington, it rains all the time. So I wouldn't want people to be walking around my rug with muddy boots and I'd be worried about underneath the rug getting all soggy and gross. As you can see here though, she's on concrete and she's got the cover over top, so that's probably not a huge issue. I do like how she's displayed all of her signs. It looks really professional and it looks like she's got her logo there written on the tablecloth, which is cool. On the right hand side, you can see she has the blue table and she's opened up the drawers and actually put some of the art in there as well. So that's another great way to add some extra space to your booth. 
This next seller makes doll clothes. And as you can see, they used a pipe going down the front and hung the little doll clothes on there. That is a really creative way to hang little items. I like that she has in the background, ask me about custom orders. That's an easy way to let people know that obviously you make custom orders and that they're welcome. I like that she's got the bunting in front. It looks like it's handmade or hand sewn, which is super cute. And the little baskets in front can hold all the little knickknacks. This next booth is Carla's Creations and she sells dog accessories. So you can see again, she's got a pipe uh, shelving or hanging unit in the back there and that looks easy enough to put together. You could also assemble it on site really easily. It's just pipes that come apart and you can stick them in the back of your trunk when you're done. I love her tablecloths. They're really fun and even though they don't match, they still have the same fabric. So I think those look really great. You can see that she's got the dog collars there on displays so that people can see how they work and fun little baskets on the tables that are color coordinated with her rainbow theme. This next seller makes signs and if you look behind the signs you can actually see the metal grids and those are hanging from the canopy with S hooks. The signs are simply hung onto the metal grid. The grid goes all the way around the canopy and the signs are hung right on there. So that's a really great way to hang signs up and you can hang so many signs. They're all right there so people can come in and check them all out. I really think this is a great way if you sell artwork or signs. It looks like the metal pieces are no more than maybe two feet wide so it's easy enough to transport those as well and you just hook them right onto your canopy. Another seller that makes signs. I love the shutters in the background there behind this gal. It um, looks like they fold up really easily and it kind of goes in with that sort of farmhouse style of the signs. I really like her vinyl sign advertising Be More Designs. It's got her contact info on there, Facebook, phone number, email. And then she also sells quilts, which you can see hanging up there. They're also um, hanging off the side of the table so that people can check them out. Here's another display that I love for jewelry. Uh, she has used Mexican blankets and I like that it's sort of um, laid down in an asymmetrical way on the table. There's also a matching blanket hanging from the side there on the right down that little step shelving unit. This one looks like that unit might be collapsible which is great too because it doesn't take up very much space and it's easy enough to set up. She's got earring cards that match the colors in the blanket which is cool. You can actually buy earring card punches from the craft store and just make your own and the color paper is really cool it matches the whole Mexican vibe. If you look on the left hand side that metal rack looks like it's actually a wine rack and to hold wine bottles but she's repurposed it and hung her necklaces there with clips so that's a really creative way to use something that you might actually already have in your house. Here we have Evergreen Summer Co. She sells stationery. I really like her layout. The tablecloth is really cool looking. As you can see, she's got some lights that have been plugged in. Helps to draw people closer to her booth to check it out. It looks really kind of fancy. And I like the card tower that she's got there on the right. I'm sure you could find one of those online really easily. It looks like something you would find in a store, really professional, and you can spin it around and people can check out all your cards. 
On the left there, she has a sign-up form so that people can get on her mailing list and find out about different shows. There's also a screen there that looks like a point of sale system. I'm not sure if that's like her website on the computer screen there or if it's just to take sales, but I think that is really nice and professional looking. We have this cool looking, bright, beautiful canopy. I like this one because it's so bright and people far away from your area will see it and immediately be drawn to it because it looks so different and they're going to want to see what's going on in that big pink tent. This one, it looks like a double sized canopy, so rather than the standard 10 by 10, it looks like it's a 10 by 20. I really like the items hanging from the canopy. Uh, you can see in the background there, she's got, I think, dream catchers, and there's a tapestry there on the right. She has her sign there in the middle, and then all of the things for display on those three tables. The only thing is that with the three tables, you could probably do the same setup in about half the size if you didn't want to pay for a 10 by 20 space. If you only want to pay for a 10 by 10, you could probably get away with squishing everything a little bit closer together. But I think this looks really cool and I love how bright and interesting it is. Next here we've got Crystal Linda and what I like about this is that she's got this nice sign there right on the front, crystallinda.etsy.com so that everybody can see that she has an online shop, crystallinda at yahoo.com if you want to send her an email. Um, I love the blue tablecloths, it's a nice color, they go right down to the floor. And her setup is pretty simple, but I think it's effective. Um, you don't need a whole bunch of shelving units or things to hang it on. She's got everything laid down flat. You can see everything there. It looks clean and nice, and the crystals are so gorgeous that I don't really think you need a whole bunch of extra stuff. So I really like this one, um, mostly because of the sign, and everything is just really laid out nicely. This next display shows how you can do sort of a rustic country style. I love that they have the burlap tablecloths with some lace on there. There's also the wooden crate stacked up and I think that goes really nicely with the style of her setup here. You can also see that her wreaths and merchandise also kind of fit into that theme. So if you have merchandise that fits into sort of a theme or a style really well, you can incorporate that into your decorations and your table settings. Next up we have Little Miss Brits Handmade Baby Accessories. She sells, it looks like, uh, bibs and teething rings and everything that you would need for little babies. She has a nice um, board up there on the right hand side again that you can customize and it says the prices. I really like that she has, um, it looks like a bench or something in the front there to use as an extra shelf. So that's an easy way to um, add some extra height to your booth to get more space by using different vertical levels. I also love her sign. It looks really professional, Little Miss Brits. The only thing I maybe would add is her website to that because I'm sure she's probably online as well. So if you have an Etsy shop or um, a private website, always make sure that people can see the address for that so they can check you out online later. Next booth shows some really, <clears throat> excuse me, cool ways to display bracelets. She's got a pegboard there with hooks in it and she's got the bracelets all hung up. You can see everything is laid out there really nicely. She's got the other um, bracelet hangers in the front. The only thing about this is that there's so many bracelets. I've said before in the other modules that you really want to be choosy about what you put on display. 
So if you have too many things that look the same, that you might want to put some of them away to um, give people that sense of urgency. Like, you know, there's only one left and they need to get it. It looks like she's also got a match, uh, a matching set of earrings for all the bracelets, which is a great idea because that way people are more likely to buy the set than just one on its own. This is another display that I love. It's a gorgeous holiday display. The interesting thing about it is that if you actually look at the display um, in terms of her tablecloth, it's really basic. It's just a white tablecloth on two tables. What really makes it special is the things that she sells and I think it really highlights that well. You can see the different sleds in front and the crates being used to stack more things up. The thing that um, I think is really great is that because her sleds light up, she's actually displayed them being lit up. Um, if you go to some of the fairs, they'll have the option there for you to have outlet access or electricity. I think it's a great idea, even if it costs, you know, an extra $10 just to purchase that. That way you can really show off your merchandise if it's something that lights up or uses electricity. We have more wooden signs and I like this one because it's a different way of displaying signs that I haven't seen before. So it looks like they took regular long boards and add hooks to them and then they just propped up the signs on them with um, on the little hooks and then the big long boards are just balanced on some kind of um, piping or something behind it and that's all covered up with that nice brown fabric so it really shows the signs nicely. The one thing I might be worried about is those big boards falling down on someone so you really want to make sure that everything is super secure so it doesn't hurt anyone. But I love how they were creative with how to hang them and they've also got that sign up there in the corner showing that they do accept credit cards so that's really handy as well. This next one here I like because if you look in the front there they've got that cool suitcase and it's opened up and it shows all of their textiles, the bags, the tablecloth is really great, that nice blue mandala, mandala. They also have the flowers in the front and it looks like they've got a variety of different things. She also has the signage saying that she accepts credit cards and cash. I think it just looks really fun and spring-like and they've made great use of the space in front of the table as well. Here's another display of jewelry and this is from Earth and Ice. I love this one just because it looks so clean and organized. It looks like she's got some marble slabs with the necklaces strung out on them and then also those wood pieces that could be arranged with the earrings and the bracelets on them. She's also got her business card out there right there in front which is great because people will always want to take a business card. So if you don't have any yet you can go to Vistaprint and get some printed out and make sure that you've got them displayed there nicely on the table so that people can grab them and check out your website later. Here's another beautiful colorful one that I like. The tablecloth is super pretty. It covers everything, all the sides. She's got that little sign on the bottom left there. And the dream catchers are hung from that frame, which is great because if you don't have a huge booth with a canopy and you have things to hang, there's still a way to do it. You could just use that easel thing that she's got and hang your dream catchers or on the left hand side there she's made a little stand that she hung the mini dream catchers from. She's also got the signage in front there saying that she does PayPal and how to contact her online. One is actually my booth from my very first show. This was the second day after I started running out of things. Um, but as you can see it's super basic. All I did was I had, this was on the counter at my mom's house. She hosts the Peninsula Art Tour in White Rock, BC every fall. 
they um, have different houses with different artists and everybody has their stuff set up. So you can see in the background there, there are gorgeous paintings there from an artist named Mac and he's got his stuff set up in the living room. My stuff is set up in the kitchen there and all it is is just a black tablecloth, some black fabric to drape on. I put my little jewelry stands on there and hung all my jewelry. I used some black dishes, these are my mom's dishes, to put my jewelry on. I think it looks really great to have it on the dishes there. And what I did was I actually, when I got home, I purchased some black, just regular kitchen dishes from Goodwill. I use those sometimes to display my jewelry if I want to pack them along. People always compliment how it's a good idea for you to use the dishes so it just works out great as like a nice display tray so this was my very first show that I ever did I was super nervous but I still ended up selling it was a two-day show the one two-day show that I've done I sold over six hundred dollars worth of jewelry so it was totally worth it and I was surprised how much I sold and I couldn't believe that I had not been selling in person I've just been online for probably five or six years before that point so I was super thrilled and it made me want to do more shows so this is the display that sort of started it all and it proves that you don't need to have a huge fancy display if you want to do that that's fine you can totally go as crazy as you want to but if you can't afford to do a huge display with custom shelving units that's totally okay all you need is a folding table a tablecloth some fabric, just use your imagination and get creative. So for the homework on this section, what I want you to do is just take out a pen and paper and start making a list of things you might need for your display, for your show. Go around the house and see if there's anything that you can reuse, like bins and baskets or buckets or crates, if you have dishes that can be used, any curtains or tablecloths that you already have. It's awesome if you can make do with the things that you have already. And then anything that you don't have, make a list and maybe take it to the thrift store and see if you can find some cool stuff to reuse, like that wine bottle holder that we saw that somebody used for earring cards. That was really a great idea. And see what you can find. You can always spray paint something if it's not the right color. And anything that you can't find, you can always find on Amazon and it'll be to your house in about two days. So. Uh, good luck finding everything that you need and let me know how it goes. I want to see pictures of how you decorated your space. So definitely share them with me on Facebook. Email me info at crafty little gnome if you have any questions. Show me what you got. Tag me on Instagram at crafty little gnome. And I want to help you promote it. So if you've got something to show me, if you've got a website, definitely send those over and I'll share those with my followers as well. All right, guys. Good luck getting everything set up and we will see you in the next module.